Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about and show you how to get down to and up off the floor with a prosthetic limb. All right, when we're working on transferring with a unilateral prosthetic device, the first thing you want to work on is getting on the floor safely so the patient can get down and get around if they need to, but also if they need to simply practice transferring from the floor, they need to get down there safely. So the easiest way to do that is have the patient scoot forward on the mat slightly. Good. Tuck the prosthetic back underneath her a little bit. Good. And then lean over, hand on the mat until she kneels on that prosthetic. Come right down on it. Boom. You can kneel on this prosthetic as much as you want. The pressure in the socket's no different than if she was standing, so she can put as much weight on it if she needs to. Now, I'm gonna have you come all the way down onto the floor, and then roll all the way there. You go to your back and completely lay out on the mat. So, if you had the big crash, you are flat on the ground, out. The first thing you want to do is don't rush to get up, all right? When you get up, it's basically, let your heart stop beating. If there's people around you, let them know that I've got this. Don't yank on me, don't pull on me. But the first thing you do is you sit up, don't stand up. So go ahead and sit up and look at your prosthetic leg and make sure the prosthetic foot is facing the ceiling. If it is, then you know it's still donned correctly. Nothing broke or shifted. If it is completely not on you, you need to redon it before you stand up. If it's broken, you're gonna need help and let people know that you're gonna need help and likely a wheelchair because there's gonna be nothing to stand on when you get up. But if we're in this position, we look pretty good. I want you to scoot away from me just a little bit. Cross your prosthetic over top of your other leg and then roll over onto your hands and knees. As you do that, because you started crossed, the legs will end up uncrossed, all right? Simple mistake, if you don't cross your legs first, you, you roll over, a lot of times your feet are crossed up behind you, it's very hard to get up. From this position, she's in a position where she could crawl to something higher to her, which is always the thing to do. So in this case, we have a mat here, so she's gonna crawl over towards this mat, get herself in a position where she's kneeling on both knees, then bring her right leg forward, into a foot position, lean forward onto the mat, and press forward as she presses that knee fully straight underneath her. Once she's up, always tell a patient then to go ahead and turn and have a seat. If you have a place to sit, because obviously sometimes when you first get up, your heart's still beating a little bit from the fall, and if you just need to kind of like collect your thoughts before you take off. So if the patient has fallen, and there is nothing around them to get a hold of, then they're gonna basically go from the same position, checking their feet to make sure the prosthetic is on correctly, scoot a little bit away from me, cross your leg over, get onto your hands and knees, so you're in a position of power. She can press down on that knee. Now from here, if there's nothing to hold on to, she needs to get up in the middle of the floor. She's gonna bring her right foot forward, into a stable position. From there, press into her hands, bring her leg underneath her, and then press up into a standing position. Always wants to get herself stable. She makes that look pretty easy, but that's something that takes a lot of practice to work on coming up into that position. Okay, in this scenario, we're gonna look at a patient who has, again, fallen. They're looking at their feet to make sure their feet are both facing straight up. They're gonna to get to the position of power. They're gonna get up with nothing to hold on to, but they do have someone around. It can be a family member, it can be a friend, it can be someone simply walking by. The key is, to, as the patient, to take control and direct the individual as to what you need, which is basically you just need them to be stationary, statuesque, and don't move, don't pull on me as I'm trying to get up. So I'm gonna have you cross over, get to your hands and knees, I've come into a position to be able to help. She wants to get to her hands and knees if she can. Stable, lean into me, press up. I'm not pulling on her at all. Now, notice the other thing that's really important is I don't let go of her. Many times people get up and we let go real quickly because we don't want to make too much contact and the person's still feeling unsteady from the fall. So you always hold on to them and let them let go of you. When they feel steady, they're gonna make that, they're gonna break that contact. So you always stay close, stay a hold of them until they, they'll, they let go of you. And I'm always in a position with my feet apart, knees bent, arms just strong. If I may just put them together, whatever I wanna do, just be statuesque, because they need you to kind of crawl up on, but I don't wanna grab her and pull. She's gonna control the lift the entire thing herself. Once she's up, I don't let go of her until she's ready and walks away from me. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you found this helpful. 
This video is part of a series on prosthetic interventions ranging from managing the residual limb after amputation to running with a prosthesis. We encourage you to view our other videos in this series and to share them as well. You can find them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash missiongate. To stay up to date on our latest content, click the link in the corner to subscribe and be sure to like, comment, and share this video.